Bemidji celebrated this weekend with a tiny tradition that packs a lot of fun in a short amount of time. Reporter Sherelle Moore brings us into this year's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade. Together today we are all Irish and honor what the Irish mean to, to America. There's a few things that are essential to any great St. Patrick's Day. Need good friends, good music, green beverages, and of course, a parade. Officially, not the 2,000, 12,000, it's about the 12th. It's a great community event, it's so fun. People get really into it, and beads, everything's flying all over. The world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade started with a shushing competition to get the crowd pumped. This tradition started 12 years ago with an observation. Between me and Ann Hayes at the time from Bridget's Cross came up with the idea for doing a St. Patrick's Day parade. We thought it was pretty unique that there was two Irish pubs on one block in Bemidji so close to each other. The parade starts right here at Bridget's Pub. But honestly, if I turn the camera around... see where it ends, right here across the street. It changes every year. So this year it went from the north from Bridget's to Keg, next year to go from Keg to Bridget's. And it is a whole, oh, we say about 78 steps. The parade lasts about five minutes total. Then there's some dancing and it's a wrap. And most wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, well, I think it's so great just because of the time of year. You know, we're getting done with winter, spring is here, and everybody's excited to be outside. It's so fun. I went to college here, so it's so much fun to come back and enjoy something that we didn't have in college. Reporting of Bemidji, Shrelmore, Lakeland News. Now we'll continue our St. Patrick's Day coverage tomorrow with a look at the Shamrock Shuffle in tomorrow night's edition of Northwoods Adventure right here on Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.